Welcome, Welcome to, to Inside, Inside the Nest, Nest, where you get a bird's eye view of everything that's going on here at GCT Intermediate. Hello, I'm Lauren Shane. And I'm Riley Smith. And here's what's been going on. This, this week, the Intermediate has took on the Great Kindness Challenge. Each day, students were encouraged to dress up and spread a little bit more kindness around than normal. Here are a few of our Inside the Nest reporters with members of the GCT family telling us about their week. Bethany Oster with Inside the Nest. We're talking about the Great Kindness Challenge and we're here with Sadie Taylor. What was your favorite activity throughout the week? I like to do the cards because it's fun. What was your favorite dress up day? It would have to be uh, the dress up day where you had to wear purple because I really like the color purple because it's a part of the galaxy and I really like galaxies. We also lived inside the nest with Miss Mayberry. What would, did you think the kids' favorite activity was? Um, I think the kids' favorite activity was when they got to plant seeds of kindness on Monday during recess. Did you dress up for the kindness challenge? I did. I did every day but Monday because I completely forgot to dress up in green and gold. This is Bethany Austin with Inside the Nest. We're here with Hallie talking about the kindness challenge. What was your favorite activity throughout the week? I love making the cards to the um, staff. What was your favorite dress up day? Probably today, because you get to wear black, and I wear black every day. Hello, I'm Brayden from Fifth, Brayden Ricker from Fifth Grade Pace, and I am with Joseph Haywood about the, t asking questions about the kindness challenge. Um, Joseph, um, what do you want to do to be kind today? Well, I want to help people out, make it a better world here, and make everything kind. Thank you. Hello, I'm with Trinity Contos, and I'm going to be asking uh, some questions about the kindness challenge. What are you trying to do to be kind today? Um, I'm going to try to volunteer and help out people today, and if they like need help, I'll help them out. Thank you. Thank you, Braden, Aiden, and Bethany. Miss Baker's classes have been working hard this week, trying different ways to protect the environment. Here's Aiden Collins with Miss Baker to tell us more about that project. I'm here with Ms. Baker, and I'm going to be asking about the oil spill and science class. What are y'all doing in science? Right now, we're looking at human impact on our environment, and we have been given a scenario of an oil spill that has occurred in a river, and our students are working to come up with a solution and a process to clean the oil out of the river. Um, with the least impact on the environment. Thank you, Aiden. On January 25th, GCT hosted the annual Miss GCT Beauty Pageant. All the ladies that participated looked stunning. The winners for fourth grade were fourth place Whitney Newman, third place was Rayleigh Baldwin, third place was Lincoln, Huck Lincoln Huckabee, first runner-up was Madeline Wiggins, Little Miss GCT fourth grade, and People's Choice winner was Reagan Emerson. The winners for fifth grade were fourth place Juliana Gasaway, third place Isabel Matthews, second place and people's choice was Hannah Campbell, first runner up was Lexis Covington, and Little Miss GCT, fifth grade was Bethany Austin. Congratulations, ladies! On January 24th, students and teachers had some fun celebrating the 100th day of school. Miss Mindy Stewart's class really enjoyed the day with lots of different activities that focused on counting to 100. Here's fourth grader Ali Swindle with Miss Mindy to tell us more about what they did. of ourselves with looking like we're 100 years old and we have also decided what we would do with 100 dollars bills. 
and we have made a snack with 100. And these are all of our posters that all of my kids made at home and brought to school. Well, that's cool. It looks like y'all have had a long time. So thank you for letting me interview you. Thank, thank you, you, Ellie. Next, we have Bethany Austin telling us about a writing assignment her class was part of in Miss Porter's class. Bethany Austin with Inside the Nest. Miss Porter's and Miss Davenport's class did a assignment where they wrote about their best part of their body. So up here we have what they wrote about in their pictures. So they wrote about the, what they liked about it and why they picked it. Um, they, we interviewed a few people out of that class. So, uh, this, so they just wrote about what they thought they, their best part of it was. Bethany Austin with Inside the Nest with Brody Brown. What was your body part that you wrote? My arm. Why did you pick it? So I can reach out stuff and I'm really short so I could like do tall things. Thank you, Bethany. Now for upcoming events. On February 3rd, GCC Odyssey of the Mind teams welcome you to come out to the local huddle house and help us raise money for our teams. Simply come and enjoy a great meal with your family and friends. All money raised will help our teams with expenses for travel to their competitions. If you like to dance, listen up. The Senior High Dance Team is hosting a POE dance clinic for students grades pre-K through 7th grade. The clinic is February 14th from 8 o'clock to 3.30, and the game is that night at the high school arena. You must be at the game by 6 o'clock. If you're interested, please ask your teacher to get a form for you in the teacher's lounge. The 19th annual AMMC Foundation Beauty Pageant will be held Saturday, March 7th at the GCT Auditorium. Pageant forms are also available in the teacher's lounge. Science fair is right around the corner, and many of you have already been planning your project. If you're interested in participating in this annual school event, please ask your teacher to get a science fair packet or go see Ms. Andrews at the Pace Room. All students in the intermediate are welcome to participate. The nights of the competition will be March 17th for 5th grade and March 19th for 4th grade. Now for our weekly spotlights. The recorder season is about to come to a close and we have several students that have reached and even surpassed the target of the blue belt. Here's Isabel Matthews with some of those students to get their feelings and about their accomplishments. Hello, I'm Isabel Matthews here with Inside the Nest and here's Hunter with Recorded Karate. How do you feel about passing the black belt? I beat my sister and my brother and my brother stuttered so I'm happy about that. And about how long did it take you to to get to the black belt? About the middle of November. Okay, thank you. Hello, I'm here with Inside the Nest with Colton and Wills. And what color belt are you on? Um, black. And how proud are you? Are how proud are you because you've reached this? I'm pretty proud because I I've only been here about two months. Okay, and what is your goal to get to on recorder party? To the end. Okay. Uh, Thank you. I'm here with Destiny from Miss Porter's class. And what color belt are you on today? I am on my black belt. What is your goal to get to on recorder party? I'm trying to finish all the way to the ninth degree. Okay. And about how long did it take you to reach the black belt? Um, it took me not very long. Um, I just gotta study really hard. So. And what are you most proud of for yourself getting to the black belt? Basically, that I've accomplished something and that I can learn all these songs and then I get to play them for people. So. Okay, thank you. Hello, and I'm with Bree. So, Bree, how do you feel about passing the black belt on recorder karate? It feels good to know that I'm on my beads and to pass the black belt because my goal is the blue bead. And what color bead are you on right now? I'm on the purple bead right now. And how many is that away from the blue bead? It's the one right before the blue bead. Okay, thank you. Hello, I'm here with Aubrey. And what color belt are you on? I'm working on my brown belt. And what is your goal to get to on recorder copy? 
My goal is to get to the karate and the second karate lesson. Okay, and about how far are you away from the second karate lesson? Um, uh, today is yeah, music, so I'm going to get my brow belt today, then black, so one more away. Okay, thank, thank you. you, Isabel Matthews. Well, that's all for this week's version of Inside the Nest. Follow us each week to get the inside scoop at GCT Intermediate. Bye! Bye.